everybody welcome back to my channel welcome if you might be new today I have a massive Sam's Club haul to share with you guys this barely fit in my trunk not only because we forgot to take out the three bags of sand that is for our new pool pump so that was back there but we just got a lot of stuff some big items so if you are new around here we are a family of five we have three kids myself my husband we do have three cats also um, we are taking a trip soon to Texas and we're going to the beach so we did purchase some items for that so not all of this is grocery budget related um, so yeah but anyway so I will share everything with you I will put the prices on the screen or down here down here for you as well and before we get started if you have not already make sure to subscribe and also head over to Instagram and Facebook to follow me there as well. So this is for basically the entire month of May. I almost forgot what month was coming up. Today is August, I mean not August, April 21st. Um, and it's like six o'clock, we just got home, so you might hear beeping in the background soon. Matt is going to heat up the kids some leftovers. So I already went through and looked at everything that we had and I wrote down like the meat that we had, uh, so what we needed to purchase. I didn't exactly meal plan yet, so I might share that at the end of the video for the month of May. I have not done that yet, so I kind of went without an exact meal plan in mind. So let's get into it. So back here, we do have paper towels. We have two rolls left, that's it. Also, I have not taken Bo's birthday stuff down yet. I don't know if that'll ever happen. Don't judge me. So we got this for the kids for the beach. This is a fif oops, 15 piece set. Let me show you what's in here. So it has a few different shovels, even like a little rake thing. Shovel here, big shovel, bucket. This looks like a little sand timer. Things to build sand castles with. And this was like $14.98. So it's the same price as what we would have paid at like Dollar Tree. But it has this little, you know, carrying basket and this big old picture of a shark. They did have one with a flamingo on the front and then another one with a whale that had like different colors. But everything was a 15 piece set. So that's for the beach. And then we got the kids some beach towels. They don't have beach towels, so even when we swim or do whatever, they just grab like shower towels. So they had these, I believe they were 10 bucks each, and these are six feet, like they're huge. Even for the kids, they'll be big. So Lacey picked this tie-dye one, and then Connor picked this, where's the picture? Oh, we didn't do the baby shark on yet. Oh yeah, not yet. So Connor picked this one, it has like stripes, it kind of reminds me of like the American flag. And then Bo picked out this one with, whoops, crabs on it. They did have like another striped one that were like brighter colors and something else. I can't really remember, but um, each kid got a towel, obviously for the beach. And I believe we're also gonna hopefully go to Hurricane Harbor. So we'll need those there as well. And then we needed some more elderberry. We are out, well, we're almost out. We have like five left or something. And I'm not quite out of apple cider uh, gummies yet, but I think that I will be by the time the next month rolls around. I'm really enjoying these. I did get some more pepperoncinis because we do like to make, um, what is it called, Mississippi pot roast. But I've also been adding these on like pizza and stuff when we have it because they're just delicious. I did get some Finnish jet dry stuff for the dishwasher, which we got a new dishwasher recently. And it says on it, it requires, or you should use, or it's recommended, whatever the words are, recommended to use Cascade Platinum, uh, but that this helps also. So I went ahead and got one here because this is a really big bottle and it was probably the same price as like Walmart or Fry's for a smaller one. And we got some, oh gosh, strawberry jelly back here. We're almost out of that too, and this is way cheaper at Sam's. And we do still need to go to either Walmart or Fry's as well, and hopefully that'll be included in this video. Right now, I think we only need like five things, but who knows what we'll actually buy. But we do have to stop somewhere else as well to get things that Sam's doesn't sell or that I don't need like a plethora of. Oh, I'm out of breath. So Matt grabbed this Italian ice. There is lemon, orange cream, kiwi, kiwi watermelon uh blue raspberry strawberry and berry lemonade so how many is that 
96 bars are you serious 96 of these things I have no idea what the press on this was I'll find out when I edit the video and what it is on the screen um, but now that it is hot it's at least 90 degrees every day now in Arizona so it's basically summertime and we are working on setting up our pool already so this will be a great snack treat for the kids to have when they're swimming Underneath that is chicken broth. I like to buy it there because it's a lot cheaper. There are six cartons in here. Um, I make um, homemade refried beans and I need a package of chicken broth or a package carton, whatever it's called, of chicken broth every time I make it and plus other recipes and whatnot. And then I did get more dryer sheets. I'm almost out of that too. Um, and it's funny, <laughs> I almost forgot that I bought these or we had them in our cart and we used two carts, as you saw in the thumbnail, um, which I guess we could have got like a flatbed, but whatever, we grabbed a cart or two carts. And I like, I forgot these were in here and I kept smelling, I would get random whiffs of like laundry. And I was like, is that people passing us? Like, <laughs> I was so confused. Cause I remembered we got OxyClean, but I didn't remember we had this. And then as we were putting things into the trunk, I saw it and I was like, oh yeah, like that's why it smells like laundry. Cause you know, mom brain. Oh yeah, we got OxyClean. We are out. We don't have any more. We ran out like two days ago. So got some of that as well. We do have Nutri-Green bars over here. There is apple cinnamon, blueberry, and strawberry. The kids asked for these. They were needing some more um, breakfast and snack options. And then we also got some more chips, different box this time. So Fritos, sour cream and onion chips, original ruffles, classic Lay's, which my daughter loves because of all the salt. Nacho cheese Doritos, <laughs> she said, mm-hmm, and uh, crunchy Cheetos as well. And they do have like different flavors and stuff, but the other boxes are only like 30 bags. This is 50 and they're, they're the same price. So we try to get the one that has more bags for the same money. Um, I'm not entirely sure what this is under here, but we did buy a bunch of meat. I think these were like the ribs. Um, I wanted to get ribs because we haven't had them in a long, long time. But the ribs we normally get, Matt said they only had them in like a three pack and it's all packaged into one giant thing. And we don't have anything to like reseal the ribs. Um, so we went ahead and bought these. He said they were like smaller pieces or the bones are smaller. I don't know, it's like broken up differently. But there's two packs, they're the same I believe. 7.12 pounds. I don't know what the other one is, but basically ribs in a different way. And then we do have pork chops over here. They actually had like regular pork chops, which they haven't had in quite some time. So we got two of those as well. Um, they're both about 2.88 pounds, 2.90 pounds, um, somewhere in there. So we'll have pork chops two different nights. And then I got this for the kids too, also to put in our outside fridge for summertime. Um, we don't have like juice boxes or anything anymore now that I'm not packing their lunches But I thought these would be good to keep out there along with the popsicles in the freezer So when they're swimming or even jumping on the trampoline with the sprinkler They can grab one of these and these have I believe zero added sugar like it's all natural um, It is hundred percent juice and there is apple juice concord grape and orange pineapple apple flavor so hopefully they like them Underneath that, I have a case of bubbly. I did not see the one I've been buying recently with the caffeine in it, so I think they maybe stopped carrying it. So this is just regular bubbly with cherry, blackberry, and raspberry flavors for me because I'm out of my flavored waters. We got some more butter as well. And I only got one package of meat because we're not going through it as often. I just threw this one away in my uh, fridge clean out video. So I went ahead and grabbed another one because Matt really liked this. And I thought it would be a good idea to heat this up in the microwave and then put some cheese on it maybe and make like a copycat like Arby's sandwich or something. So we'll see how that goes. <sighs> Still out of breath. Okay, <laughs> we got some more bacon as well. This is a three pack. We have one package left over. Um, but we're going to be using that still in the month of April with one of our dinners. So we went ahead and bought this obviously for the next month. I talked about OxyClean. Oh, we did get laundry sanitizer. I still have maybe half or three quarters of one of these jugs. But I'm just not sure if they're going to start selling out again or if they're going to stop carrying it. 
because it's a way better deal at Sam's than Walmart or Fry's. So I got one of those and I got coconut water, which is also a better deal for smoothies and stuff. We kind of stopped making smoothies for a little bit, but I want to get back on it. So I got some of that for the smoothies. They finally, finally, finally had boneless, skinless chicken thighs. They've literally not had any in stock for the last three or four months, I think. We were lucky enough to grab like one small package at Walmart one time, but they had five packages, so we bought three <laughs> because we can never find it anymore. So I don't know what the weight is on these exactly. They're all, I think about seven and a half pounds, give or take. But yeah, three of those, so that'll give us two meals each package. And then we also got two three pound packages of ground beef we always buy this kind because my husband's uh stomach is pretty sensitive when it comes to like grease and stuff so we have six pounds of ground beef we got some more beans we're almost out of that too like i mentioned i make um homemade refried beans and they're delicious i got the original recipe from what's her name large family love and i've been making them ever since she shared it you know a long time ago I've been making them for probably like a year or something uh, but yeah I only have enough for like one more round of beans um, so I need more and these were on sale or clearance I can't remember um, I've had the purple bag before I don't remember what the flavor is this is sea salt and black pepper and because it was on sale it was like two dollars off or something so I thought I would try it as chips to stay away from the really unhealthy ones <laughs> try those out for me so we'll see if they're good or not and we also needed some cheese sticks we don't have any well we have two i think two or three in the fridge but got those and we got some more waffles as well i also think we only have i also think we only have like two or three waffles left um, and i'm trying to get more variety for the kids for breakfast rather than just oatmeal and cereal all the time we also got some bananas over here we don't have any and we finally got the sausage. The last time we went, they didn't have this and I'm not sure why. So we went ahead and grabbed it. We can either cut these into little patties or cook it like ground beef, you know, and make it into burritos or whatever we want. We also got some green seedless grapes and I also had looked for strawberries and something else, but they did not have any strawberries or whatever else I was looking for, I can't remember. So we got grapes and the bananas at least. And then we don't really need cereal per se, but everybody loves Cinnamon Life and it's two boxes. So I went ahead and grabbed some more. And the kids and Matt <laughs> asked for this Jello, sugar-free, strawberry and orange. So I figured that would be a good snack for them. And they did not have the burgers that we normally buy. These are close, but they're not quite the same. So we went ahead and got this so we can have burgers in the month of May. Obviously this gives us, I think two or maybe three nights worth of burgers. And they did have this uh, um, deluxe. So I thought that would be tasty. We have a few boxes left, but I thought we would go ahead and grab this. I think it might've been on sale. I could be wrong though. Another thing that was I think this was on sale. I'm pretty sure it was on sale. But I got this for me because I had gotten some on clearance at Fry's once. And these were really, really tasty. So I went ahead and got them for myself for a healthy-ish snack. And then these were new to us. We normally buy the tortilla chips there the on the border. But this is queso flavored, I guess, which is new. Huh? Look, it says new. So we grabbed that to try out. And these were the last two boxes of muffins on the shelf. I don't know why they're like, they never have these anymore. I mentioned that in my last Sam's Club haul. We also got two boxes. I froze one whole um, container of this or box of this. And then we ate through the other one and then I pulled this one out, let it thaw. We ate through that one too. So we went ahead and grabbed two also because literally they were the last two on the shelf. So we grabbed them. Back here we have some of the kielbasa, the beef smoked sausage. There's four in this package. And I was watching, again, Large Family Love, and I think she put kielbasa, potatoes, and green beans, maybe something else, I can't remember. I think it was in her crock pot, and it looked really, really good. So I thought I would try it. I've also seen sheet pan meals with kielbasa and broccoli and something else, I can't remember, <laughs> but, um, this will give us two dinners as well, so we grabbed that. And we also got these chicken sandwiches. This is like the chick 
my camera just like stopped recording. Um, this is the Chick-fil-A like chicken sandwich. There's 10 of them in this box. I thought this would be an easy dinner. We have some like hoagie rolls left over from last month that are in the freezer that we did not end up using. So I thought we could cook these, cut them in half and then stick them on that bread and use it up one night for dinner. We have not tried these, but we have tried their chicken nuggets that are the same brand that are like the Chick-fil-A type of nuggets and they're really, really good. So I'm hoping these are also equally delicious. I tried looking for the Chobani Flip yogurts that I always buy and they did not have any. So I think that was only like limited time and I'm very sad about it. So I am going to try this one this time. I think normally I was still buying the Chobani brand, but it was like regular yogurt with the fruit in the bottom. Do you know what I'm talking about? So I think these were the same price, but I think you got more either cups or there was like more in the, the ounces or whatever. Anyway, I got this one. What just happened? Our power just went out for like two seconds and then came back on. We've been having so many issues with our lights like flickering, like it's just like it blinks and then it comes back on. And we don't know why this whole house is old and needs to be redone anyway. So I got this yogurt. It is, I think it's Yoplait brand, if I'm not mistaken. But there are strawberry cheesecake, key lime pie, and like coconut something. Toasted coconut vanilla, strawberry cheesecake, and key lime. So I'm not super big on the key lime flavor, but the other two are delicious. Delicious. So I thought I would get that one because they're so good. I got some more vinegar as well. I use this in my laundry and I use this to actually clean our produce and it works great. It does not taste like vinegar. I rinse it really well with water. Well, I do like maybe a tablespoon or two of vinegar and then like a bunch of water and I let it sit for, I don't know, three to five minutes and I rinse it with water and it helps a lot. So I bought some more and again for laundry too. And then down here we got some more gallon size Ziploc bags. There's four in here. Last thing we got, which I don't even know if there's a, a picture of it. Oh, there is. We bought this umbrella also to take to the beach. Um, this one was $40, I think. The other one was $20, but this is a foot bigger. There's also like a little window built in, which you can close if you want to, but it's supposed to help with like the airflow so your um, umbrella doesn't get yanked by the wind. And it also has extra like drop down flaps. So it has like more sun coverage and it still can be like screwed into the sand or whatever. So we thought for $20 more, the foot bigger, extra coverage on the sides, the window, and it just felt sturdier. So we went ahead and got this one instead of the crappy little one that would probably break that very first trip. So that was the last thing. All right, so here is my fries haul. I just got back, I went inside. We didn't need a ton, like I said. Some of this was not even on my list, some of it was. Um, currently, right now, I still have not done the meal plan. <laughs> I hope to do it later today or tomorrow. Doesn't matter for you because all these are just in consecutive order with the power of editing. So, um, I got some White Claws for me. I've never tried the watermelon flavor, but I have a few left. They are the iced teas. There's like regular tea, like a lemon tea, raspberry, peach, and mango, I believe. The peach is my favorite. It does not taste like alcohol, so I can just sit there and drink peach tea and get messed up and I don't even notice because it just tastes like peach tea. Um, so I thought I'd get the, the watermelon this time. And then Matt really likes these 805 cervezas. He tried the original 805s at a birthday party, I think, a while back. Um, and one of our cousins gave him one. And then he saw the cervezas and he likes this a lot better. So I got that for him because he also only has like, I don't know, two or three left or something. And then I got a lasagna for one of the nights just for a quick, easy meal. This one is our favorite by Stouffer's, the lasagna with meat and sauce. Now the large family size feeds us like exactly as long as I also have like salad or bread. And then the party size we have leftovers from, um, but I just, I got this one. I think it was on sale or something, so that's why. And this, oh, okay, so there's a story behind this. So Connor has been like itchy 
for a while like he complains randomly and it's not every day and it's at different times of the day and he'll say that he's itchy like his belly or his back are itchy and then I think a couple weeks or maybe a month ago I noticed some little white bumps like on one of his knees and I just thought oh maybe he was like in the grass or the sand at school so we've randomly given him um, like a children's Claritin and put some lotion or coconut oil on it and then he seems to be okay till he complains you know randomly again like once a week or something well more recently he's been complaining a lot especially when he gets out of the shower so we were like you're probably using too hot of water it's like irritating your skin well the other day Lacey had mentioned to us that Connor had like a bunch of bumps on his knee so last night we were looking at it because he took a shower and once again he was like oh, I'm so itchy so he went to say goodnight to us and I realized his knee was like red and white bumps so we were looking at him and from like his knee up to like his like hip almost like his whole like thigh area had like bumps and like red marks like he had been scratching and stuff and then he mentioned to us that his belly and his back were itchy too so we looked at that and his other leg and all that stuff and we were like man you have a rash like it looks like almost a yeast infection maybe or maybe he's like allergic to something out of nowhere um i haven't really changed soaps or shampoos or anything like that um, except when i used the true earth detergent strips but he said that he's been itchy since like Halloween is the first time he remembers like scratching his leg. So because it looked so bad, I thought we would take him to the doctor today and, you know, see if they can tell us what was wrong, see if we can get him like an allergy test or something. And the, okay, so <laughs> we don't have insurance. There's a free clinic that we are nearby to that kids can be seen for free if you don't have insurance. So the doctor visits are free if they prescribe you something. Um, well, if they can give you a medication there, it's free. But if you have to fill a prescription somewhere else, like you have to pay for it, or if whatever you need done, like they can't do there and they have to refer you somewhere, then you have to pay for whatever that is. But at this clinic, you know, it's all free. And this doctor that is there, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> she's very questionable half of the things she says i know for a fact not even being in the medical field like having basically zero knowledge of it like not having gone to school i don't have a degree nothing just my experiences throughout my life my own research you know what i've seen on facebook from friends and family half of the stuff this lady says is not correct half of it is correct so i just take everything she says with a grain of salt process it myself with my knowledge and go from there so she was looking at him today and at first said he had scabies which <laughs> I was like how what how do you get scabies like what do you mean and she's like oh yeah it's a little bug that you know goes under your skin and causes you to scratch but it's really really contagious like do you have animals in the home does anybody like share a bed with him does anybody else have this rash and I said no well, we do have cats. We have three cats. But, I mean, all of us cuddle with the cats. All of us kiss and hug and love on the cats all day long. You know, like, his brother shares a room with him, but he's in his own bed. But, like, we all sit on the couch next to each other. Like, we hug him. You know, like, nobody has a rash. And she's like, well, it looks like scabies, but it's highly contagious. So, if it's not scabies and nobody else has a rash then it's probably eczema. <laughs> okay. But then she told me eczema only shows in the folds of your skin, like in your elbow crease, in your neck, behind your knees, you know, kind of your groin area, stuff like that. She said it, it only comes in the folds of your skin. And I know for a fact that that is not true because I have several friends and some family members that have eczema and it pops up anywhere on their skin, their arm, their cheeks, you know, their like face anywhere. So I'm just, you know, I'm just going along with it, not, you know, confronting her or, you know, whatever. I'm just, okay, okay, uh-huh, okay. So she told me to try some hydrocortisone cream first or maybe Aquaphor on his skin and do that for about two weeks. And if it doesn't go away, she gave me the prescription to go fill at the pharmacy if I need to, to treat scabies. 
It just blows my mind. I'm so confused. Anyway, so I called Matt after the appointment. I'm going over all the information with him because he actually has psoriasis on his head, only his scalp, like just like his head under his hair only place he has psoriasis. He's seen doctors in the past for it. He's tried different creams, oral medications, shampoos, all that stuff. It has never actually gone away. Um, so I don't know if that, you know, is like genetic or something. Um, he's never had issues with like itchy skin before. Like I said, he said it started around Halloween. So this particular hydrocortisone cream says eczema on the box. And I'm in this mommy group on Facebook and people ask about eczema stuff all the time. So I searched in the group to look and see what people recommended that you can buy over the counter to treat psoriasis. And hydrocortisone cream was one of them. Aveeno and Lucerin, I think was the other one. Now I have a friend that has a son that has eczema really bad and it flares up on his cheeks, on his little face. And I remember this because one of my other friends was asking for recommendations on a really good eczema cream for one of her kids. So I asked this other friend because she had shared it before that whatever it was was the only thing that fixed her son's eczema. Okay, I had to switch batteries and I thought maybe you were sick of looking at that crap. Not that this is any better, but so I remember her posting about whatever she had found to treat her son's eczema with was really great. So I messaged her asking her what the name of the stuff was so I could send it to my other friend. So I looked back in those messages to find what it was because she purchased it from Amazon and it's literally all in Chinese. It's from China, the whole bottle, the packaging, everything is in Chinese. Uh, but like the, the description on Amazon is obviously in English. So my friend like swears up and down by this. She had said that she tried all these other things for her son's eczema and nothing worked except for this. I don't know how she found it. Um, so I remembered that. So I went ahead and ordered some off of Amazon. It'll be here tomorrow. It was four bottles or four tubes of cream for $13. I don't know how big the bottles were, but to give him some relief today, I purchased that hydrocortisone cream. Hopefully that'll help get him through until we can try this other stuff and see if it makes a difference over the next few weeks. We're not going to be treating for scabies because like I said, no one else is itchy no one else has a rash the yeah no so long story long all of a sudden connor has eczema possibly and we're gonna try and treat it with that stuff and the chinese stuff and obviously i'm putting the prices on the screen i think this was four dollars they had one that was two ounces this is a one ounce container they had one for two ounces for nine dollars i think this was four dollars so it was I could have just bought two of these and it still would have been a dollar cheaper than the other one. So anyway, that's that. Um, I went through the clearance aisle and this was $2. <laughs> I was going to say, I think it was $2. I'm going to put this in the bathroom where we have Kiara's litter box right now since she still has, excuse me, I'm trying to burp through my words. She still has a few more days until we can take her cone off and she can get back to normal and it just kind of stinks in there with the litter box without the lid on and the filter thing on there so i got that for the bathroom and then these were also on sale yes i have my own coffee right there i have my creamer and stuff but some days this is just easier to grab normally these are like 279 per bottle these were two dollars a piece so i got one mocha one vanilla we needed some more ketchup as well um, so I got this one this time with less sugar and less sodium just to, you know, try and be somewhat healthier. We're almost out of ketchup though. And then somebody on YouTube was talking about cornbread, crusty's cornbread. So this was on sale too. So I thought I would grab it. I don't really have a plan for this in particular yet, but I'm going to probably just add it into one of our breakfast dinners that we're going to make and throw it in there. And then I also needed brown sugar. I am out as well with the copycat teriyaki chicken that I make that I have shared before. Um, it needs brown sugar. And then I also have a cookie recipe I was going to try out. So I needed some sugar. I got some strawberries because like I said, Sam's did not have any. I don't even know the price of these, but it's okay. The kids eat through these quickly. They love strawberries. And then I got two bags of peas and carrots so I can make homemade like fried rice. So I got two of those. 
And then I got three bags of the pepper and onion blend. We love this. We always add it in with our breakfast burritos and we've thrown it in with our Philly cheese steaks before as well. So there's green, yellow, and red peppers and then just onions in here and it's great. I don't have to remember to go buy peppers at the store. I don't have to worry about them going bad. Whatever, it's frozen, it's ready to go. And the last thing we got was some soda because soda was on sale, but it wasn't a good price. We should have got some at Sam's, but I don't know, we didn't. <laughs> so I just got some of these for now. I have four Dr. K's or Big K's, whatever, and two of the Diet Coke with cherry just to hold us over. I think Matt wants to run back to Sam's and grab some because it was actually cheaper than what Fry's had it on sale for. So that was everything and all the drama at Fry's. We meet again. Funny how that happens. We just went to Walmart. I decided to throw this in as well. Obviously some of the things are for the monthly haul that I kind of forgot about or we ran out of in the last two or three days since we actually went to Sam's and stuff. Um, and then we needed things for Bo's preschool. They rotate between the kids. I think there's 10 kids. Yeah, there's 10 kids in his class um, with two teachers and they rotate between who provides the snacks. So it's our turn. He goes three days a week. I need 10 snacks for three days, but she mentioned they usually have two snacks. So I'll explain that in a second here. And then we found some extra items and we needed other stuff. So I'll get there. But first over here, some non-food items. Apparently the underwear that we got for Bo from Burlington, I think, um, we didn't realize that they were just briefs. And he says that they're uncomfortable and they, you know, kind of squeeze and stuff. So we got him some boxer briefs. Matt grabbed two packages for him. Um, and Matt's outside trying to finish putting up our pool. So if you hear a loud scraping noise, that's him cutting some PVC pipe because we had to get a new pump because the one last year broke. That's a whole other situation. But speaking of the pool and the beach, which, okay, hi, don't mind all this mess that's everywhere, including myself. So my husband's dad actually had a heart attack about a week and a half ago. He's doing fine, he's home now, um, but we were gonna go out to Texas in July originally, but because of everything that's happened, we're actually going the day after the kids get out of school. Um, so we're going towards, <laughs> we're going towards the end of May instead. Um, so we are, that's also why we're gathering things now for the beach and stuff because we only have about a month before we go versus three months or whatever it is. So yeah. All right. Anyway, so, um, we did get towels from Sam's. They're still on the floor. Not everything has gotten put away yet. We don't really know what to do with that stuff yet, but we did, we do still have the beach towels there. However, um, I was talking to Matt a few weeks ago about finding towels that have like a hook on it so we can just hang them outside because we have five hooks screwed into the wall outside for the pool. And Lacey actually saw these. Um, there's no picture of the hook, but these do have a little actual hook thing on it. Um, so these, oops, these were $10 a piece. So basically like $5 a towel. So these we're gonna keep here for the pool or whatever, and those we're still gonna take to the beach. It's not a bad thing to have extra towels because sometimes we do have friends over swimming with us as well, or like my mom comes over or something. So um, we don't even have actual um, towels for the pool or the beach, which if I'm repeating myself from Sam's, I'm sorry, I don't remember. <sighs> Bo keeps bothering me. Anyway, um, so we got a set kind of girly colors, which, I don't know, stripes and like flowers or whatever. And then these ones, but all of these can hang up out there because our problem is normally we just hang it, you know, like on the hook and then they fall off with the wind. So having the actual hook thing or loop, whatever you call it on there is gonna be great. Okay, I also got another mouse because I think I shared with you in that vlog that I had ordered one from Amazon and it already seems to be kind of glitchy. Like when I move it, it doesn't like, you know, it kind of lags and stuff. So we're gonna try out this one. If this still does the same thing, it might be the built-in uh, mouse pad thing. And then maybe we can take this back if it's just the pad. But if this works better, then wonderful. We got a 12 pack of eggs. 
We got two things of some wheat bread as well. I grabbed some salads for myself to eat for this week. Uh, today's Sunday, the 20 something or other. But I got one of the spinach Dijon, which is one of my favorites. However, I will say the eggs pretty much always taste gross. So I usually dump the eggs out, but everything else is fine. It doesn't matter what the date on the salad is. It doesn't matter if I eat it the day I get it or like three days later, the eggs always taste bad <laughs> and smell funny. So I just dump those out. So that's a side note if you try out that salad. And then I got two of the chef salads. These are really, really good. And these are pretty dang full also of lettuce. And then this one only has spinach. So I like that. Um, so those are for me. We got a little bit more peanut butter here as well. We got four gallons of milk because we have one and that's it. Matt saw these juices, they're Tampico and they actually don't have that much sugar. This one is fruit punch. Um, I think these are mango, mango punch. So uh, there's only like six grams of regular sugar and six grams of added sugar, which I feel like normally these juices, it's like a hundred grams of added sugar. <laughs> so it wasn't that bad. So he grabbed those. And then we also got some more cereal, some regular Cheerios and some kicks as well. Matt grabbed some more of that sweet and hot jerky. Like I was saying, we could not find this at Sam's Club. So he went ahead and got two of those for himself. He also got some of the golden Oreos so he can snack on it. I got myself some of these thin pretzel crisps. They're really, really tasty. I got those to go with some hummus, which I'll show you in a second. And then we grabbed some more salsa just for Matt because he went to use it last night and then he forgot it. It was sitting out on the table all night long and it went bad. You're supposed to keep it refrigerated. So we had to throw it away. And then we got some thick cut bologna because Lacey, Bo and I like bologna. And there's the hummus down there that I got for myself. The roasted red pepper is so good. Um, but speaking of hummus, I'm always so out of breath. I think it's because I talk really fast. But speaking of hummus, Walmart apparently does not carry the small single servings of hummus. We looked, we obviously found hummus. We did not find the little cups. So that's the only thing we have to go to Fry's for because I know for sure Fry's has those. Um, because the snacks, she gave me a list of like approved snacks or suggestions because in his particular class, one kid has a ginger allergy and another kid has a dairy allergy. So I double checked, you know, everything, make sure there's no ginger or dairy. But um, I originally was gonna do carrots with ranch because that was on the list. But then I'm like, wait, there's dairy and ranch. So I don't know why ranch is on the list, but um, I looked for like a dairy free ranch. It doesn't exist, or at least Walmart didn't carry it. So I thought I would do hummus for the carrots instead. Again, there was no hummus. So we got the carrots at least. Um, did I say there's 10 kids in the class, but they eat two snacks a day. So like one day I will send like the pretzels, carrots and hummus. The next day I'll send animal crackers and fruit cups kind of a thing. And then like the next day I'll send like graham crackers and applesauce kind of thing. So that's what all this is. So carrots with hummus when we get it. I got, I think 12 of these, but that's okay. We'll keep the two. Just mandarin oranges. I thought pretty much every kid loves oranges. So we'll send the fruit cups. And then I got um, applesauce, no sugar added. Cause she wants to have like healthy snacks that keep the kids full and energized and focused and not have a bunch of sweets and junk, you know, which I totally understand. So there's applesauce there. There are mini pretzels. On her list, she had suggested whole wheat, I think, or whole grain or something, pretzels. I didn't see that, but this doesn't have like a bunch of sugar or anything like bad in them. So I just got these ones. And then I also got kind of a smaller bag of animal crackers as well. And then I got some graham crackers to go with it because she also had that on the list. There are some other suggestions, but I figured, you know, my kids like this stuff. So I thought the other kids in the class would also. And then we got two of these Gogurt tubes and these tubes look so cute. They have like new designs and I thought they were adorable. Both of these are strawberry. These are just for us to have at home, obviously. And then we saw this and thought it would be interesting to try out with our burgers that we got at Sam's. This secret sauce. I think maybe it's kind of like a Thousand Island dressing or like what In-N-Out uses on their stuff. So we thought we would give it a try. We also got a big bag of cheese because we were trying to shred our own for the longest time if you guys have been with me for a while 
but we always realize we need shredded cheese like at the time like at that exact time we need shredded cheese like when we're in the middle of making dinner or whatever and then we have to take out our food processor and shred it and it was just becoming this whole thing <laughs> so we went ahead and got a bag of shredded cheese to save us a little bit of headache and then Matt has been having some nosebleeds lately and usually it happens if it's really really dry outside and right now it's hot and dry outside so he got some of this to keep in his truck well that took about 10,000 years for that to focus but just some basic like nose spray to keep it you know moisturized uh, because randomly throughout the summer he gets nosebleeds and he also has to make sure he drinks a lot of water but um, yesterday when he was working outside on the pool um, after being out there for so long he was hot and sweaty and he was also cutting PVC pipe and then using that crazy like purple like glue or cement stuff to like seal the pieces of PVC pipe together um, so after he'd been outside for quite some time and then dealing with all these fumes and dust and everything he came inside to like relax and then he got a nosebleed so we went ahead and got him some of that because we don't have any um, but at least he can go grab it in his truck if he's home or obviously if he's out and about on a job which includes a bunch of dust and all that crap he can use it and then behind the cheese we needed to get another extension cord to run the pump from the pool you know to, to the pool we need an extension cord to plug it in uh, we didn't have another one that was long enough so we got this 50 foot extension cord and then we also got another hose we only have like one or two but they are like the small like medium duty or light duty or something like that i don't know so matt got this 50 inch hose so we can fill the pool and later drain the pool as well and then the last thing we got was at petco actually but i thought i'd include it anyway that is cat food just for the girls uh, Archer still has his special food. He has his own dry food as well as wet food. Um, the girls did not need any wet food this month because we still have some left over um, and their container is getting pretty empty. So we got their food at Petco while we were out. We also had to stop at Home Depot. Then we went to Walmart. Then we went to Petco as well. So that is every single thing that we have now in this home. 